Hello everybody, it's Steve, and instead of playing some more Surviving Mars Below and Beyond, I need to talk about the elephant in the room, and that is how bad the reviews are for this expansion. This is, I mean, Cars 2 level of just bad right now. 23% of the reviews so far on Steam. This is being recorded just after 6 a.m. on September 9th. 23% of the reviews are positive. For this, and there's a pretty good reason. It's stuff like this, and admittedly, this is cute as hell. The bouncing buggy. This is just one of the many bugs and glitches that have been reported in the game since it came out, and I'm starting to think that the glitches and the bugs that I was seeing in my little playthrough on Tuesday was not on my end. I think it was starting to show that the game has a lot of problems right now. This is just the subreddit right now. That's a bug. 24, this is um, some seven hours ago. There's that video, and it's a lot of people, a lot of game, it's a lot of conversations about bugs, about glitches, and it's... <sighs> I know this is not how Abstraction wanted this to go. This is definitely one of those things. Oh, look, hey, here's somebody having problems launching stuff to an asteroid. Definitely not on my end. So much so, this is the Paradox Forum showing all the problems that are now known as a result of this game. And uh, it has not opened for further replies. There's a lot of, well, there were a lot of comments on here. I think a lot of people have now viewed this. So, some of the known issues in this game. Uh, drones that are busy don't get added to the lander rocket. Um, after salvaging an asteroid lander, its contents are dumped on the landing pad. Any drones and RCs part of the cargo cannot be used. Thankfully, I didn't find that one yet. Uh, pin menu does not show incoming asteroid landers from asteroids. No warning about an unloaded cargo when a rocket is launching back to Earth. That's really important if you want to, you know, get all that stuff back on your... On, that you that you brought down if you're not able to unload it all and then you accidentally send it back with all the stuff on board. That's pretty bad. Drones occasionally try to get to unreachable areas on an asteroid to gather resources. The camera is out of the map if the player clicks on the astronomer's pin while he or she is in orbit. Dying Wish Mystery. Is there a mystery we don't know about yet? Dying Wish is a new one. I haven't heard of this one at all. Underground, even after clearing debris, areas uneven and unbuildable. Some cavens are unreachable and therefore cannot be cleared, which prevents further exploration. Shuttles can fly too high vertically in the underground. I'm thinking that's the space Y one. Um, many UI images don't show up in the Mac build. Black scores are shown in the, instead of the below and beyond content on Epic builds in Mac. This is an issue. This is a bit of an issue right now, but. I will concede that the DLC is broken. This, uh, most of what I'm seeing is power bugs, bugs, glitches, not working. And this is very helpful. This, this is what shows how, the, it shows that the game is broken, but it's salvageable. This can be fixed and I'll just pick up Orphan Martians because this is right at the top here. What I got for 20 bucks? Start a new save file because all my old files are now broken and unplayable. Yeah, ran into that problem myself. Unlock a new, very expensive tech tree that lets me do the same stuff as the base game, but on new maps. Yep. A new asteroid map that looks like a tiny rock on a black square with a static motionless image of space behind it. Well, I couldn't find that out for myself. A new underground map that's the same as the above, but really darker with more obstacles and uneven terrain to make building a pain in the butt. I probably would have used a more colorful metaphor there. Both of these new maps give you the same stuff you'd find in the base game, except even less, and I have to tediously micromanage all your resources between the surface and the underground, slash asteroid by elevator slash rockets. Who wanted more micromanaging with their paid DLC? Can't refund because you have to replay the whole game just to experience this trash DLC. Yeah, that's, um... That's a lot of it. Um... Melnarag, actually, this is where, kind of where my thing, my thought is with it. It's not worth it, but it needs work. I do think the devs at Abstraction are listening to the community for this. They're not just saying, we know exactly what we're doing. This is not, 
I think that Paradox and Abstraction are not doing the route of EA. They're doing the exact opposite. They're listening to the community. They're figuring out, okay, we have made mistakes. Let's take these steps to now rectify the mistakes. Let's find these things and make it correct. Oh, yeah, Yaza, same thing I had. Um, current state, can't actually load a rocket to get to an asteroid. Ding, 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 ding. That's what happened to me. So I'm not alone in this stuff. Um, needs a significant bugs fixing pass uh, from Tiberius.tv. Yep, I'm in agreement with this. If you were thinking about getting this game after watching my last video, and by the way, thank you all for watching my last video. Um, that My first impressions for this game, that is the most watched video I've had on my channel in a while, and I am deeply, deeply thank you for that, or thankful for that. And hopefully when I start up this new series, these bugs will be fixed, and I'll have a nice smooth playthrough. And again, I'm going to do a Brazil playthrough. Don't know what mystery I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to play as Brazil for that one. If you if you want to get this DLC, please wait. My thought was, yeah, I'm going to keep playing this DLC. But now that I've... My playthrough of that DLC was about 48, 50 minutes. I think that was how long the recording was on the last video. And then I trimmed it down to what you saw on Tuesday. These folks have had a lot more time playing this than I have. Because I recorded the video, I got ready for work, let out the dog, let out the cat, took care of the baby, went to work on Tuesday, and this is the first time I've sat down to do any recording, any looking at the game really, since then. For the devs at Abstraction, and I know you're probably not going to watch this, you're probably watching the content from Skystorm, from Provis, from Quill18, from Raptor, from folks who I aspire to be like and would probably sacrifice a body part to have a subscriber count that's 10% of what they have right now. Yes, the game needs work. Your game developers, though, that's what you do. You build a product and then you find out that, oh, it doesn't work that as well as we hoped it would. Let's make it better. Let's fix it. And I know the devs are going to be doing that. I, I'm... My wife is telling me to be more optimistic, especially now that I have a kid, so I am going to be more optimistic. I'm going to be optimistic that the devs are going to be able to fix this game. I am optimistic that we are going to have a patch, hopefully in the next week. So by the 16th of September, I'm hoping we're going to have a big old patch that'll fix a lot of this stuff. And I'm optimistic that when I do a full playthrough of this game, I'm going to enjoy this playthrough. I know there's going to be some glitches, some bugs, but I'm probably going to find some of them. And I'll probably be reporting them to Paradox so they can say, hey, can you guys just fix this thing real quick? I'm optimistic about this. This is a bold step for the game, especially doing the asteroid mining. The lava tubes, I'm a little in the air about. Um, I'm, I'm hoping we can get maybe another mystery attached to all of this. But again, I want to be optimistic about this game. I want to be optimistic about the future um, in general. But for this... We, there's work still to be done, and I'm going to let the devs do a little bit of work on this. I'm actually going to be uh, taking some time off, taking my first vacation since, like, May um, in a couple of days. So I'm going to be away for a little bit. I'm still going to have access to the comment section for this video, so I'll be able to interact with you if you're leaving comments and your thoughts on this. But, again... It's broken right now, but it's salvageable. Let's focus on the second part of that. It's salvageable. It can be fixed. Let's be optimistic about the title. Yes, first impressions, eh, not the best, but let's revisit it and see where things are in a few days. I've said my piece. That's where I'll leave it now. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, if you disagree with me, definitely comment. Let me know why you disagree with me. I will interact with you. I'll have a nice culture discussion with you about it but if you start throwing the name calling out there i'm probably just going to stop responding to you and of course thank you all for watching thank you for looking at my first impressions video earlier this week i'll see you all in the next video in the next surviving mars video likely going to be coming out on tuesday